All right, here we go, a different day. So we're stepping down our right front fender here and uh, get her all down the middle and then uh, get her primered and ready to go. Um, one thing I do have to do, and actually I have to do this on both fenders, is this is from a Caprice uh, two-door hardtop. So it just had the Caprice emblem here. Um, I've, I've read some guys say that the holes match up for the, the Super Sport, but I'm not quite sure. So I got to dig out, uh, got to dig out my Super Sport uh, emblems and just match them up here and see what I got to do to possibly. I'm uh, pretty sure I'm going to have to drill at least a couple more holes and possibly weld up a couple of these. But uh, but yeah, no, we'll get uh, we'll get her stripped down here and go from there. All right, so uh, yeah, here we go. So working away here, uh, this uh, this section took about uh, well, about 20 minutes just to strip down with our with our uh, Eastwood SET tool there. Uh, like I say, uh, great tool, just beautifully. Uh, don't have to do any put any weight on it or anything. You just let the machine do its do its thing. But uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good here. And uh, it's uh, got the once we got the paint stripped down, I had a couple of a couple of spots in here just to had to hammer and dolly out a little bit, and then kind of one right about there. We ran into a bunch of body fill right in those sections, but uh, yeah, it's coming up pretty good. And then uh, and yeah, then I'm just taking some. Uh, this is just some 150, and I'm just going over the whole thing and getting rid of any. Any, any little bits that were left, um, and I'm just just going over it both ways so we get a cross a cross hatch pattern again, and get her ready for for primer. But uh, yeah, looking not too bad. There's that one panel that we replaced, so it's looking pretty good there. So yeah, we'll uh, just uh, keep going with her here. Um, this part here actually I had to use my uh, I had to use my scouring pad here a bit just to get into just to get into this spot in here but but yeah that's all right nothing not too bad there so so yeah and we'll flip her around and we'll get to this other spot here now <laughs> Alright, there's that spot done. So again, 
nice and clean. Um, didn't have any dents or anything up here, so that was good. I'm not doing it fix it too much. A couple of blemishes, but a lot of this old, uh, a lot of these little pieces here, like that one, will get cleaned up when we start doing some, putting laying down some body foam block sanding and stuff. Um, but yeah, I say that uh, SCT tool works great. Um, uh, let's just let it do its thing. Hardly, hardly to no pressure, holding it down. Just nice easy strokes. Um, and that's like the last fender. I was just taking. Uh, I just, I just went up to the body line itself. I didn't, I didn't go you know, over it and over it and over it, that kind of thing. Um, it, uh, the drum, that uh, that stripping drum, it doesn't actually harm the metal at all. But that's just, that's just the way I did it. Um, that's kind of like the idea of just, just going to the body line and that's it. But yeah, that's uh, looking real good here now. So we'll just uh, uh, we'll flip her up and get a, grab a saw horse. We'll flip her up and do the top. Okay, so we've got her on a just a saw horse. It's the, the simplest way I find to do this part. But yeah, we'll, uh, this is what the top looks like. So um, got some rough spots in here. So we'll be able to see how that. Now that tool takes care of it, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get scrubbing on her here now. This shouldn't take too long, and uh, get her done. <laughs> All right, there we are, primer done. So looking a hell of a lot better than what she was before. Top's all good. That's where those big spot rust was there, so that's cleaned that up quite nicely. Doing pretty good. So next to the body fill. So see you on the next one. <laughs> 